The children, having sold their elderly mother's house, divided the inheritance and relocated her to a nursing home. Three years later, upon their return, they were astonished by the unforeseen changes. Life, with its unexpected twists, can often catch us off guard. Similarly, Olivia James, who embarked on marriage with the blessings of a charming church, could not have fathomed ending up alone, tasked with raising two sons. Like many newly married and enamored couples, she had envisioned a future filled with happiness and stability, however, life had different plans, Olivia soon realized that no one is immune to adversities on her wedding day, if someone had predicted that her husband, the father of her children, would eventually leave her to raise Liam and Michael alone, she would have dismissed it as absurd, back then, such a scenario seemed unthinkable. Although men are often considered the pillars of the family, Brian, Olivia's husband, challenged this notion, disillusioned. With the responsibilities of marriage and fatherhood, Brian chose a different path, leaving his family behind on a typical afternoon after a tiring day at work, Olivia discovered a note from Brian, initially thinking it was a tasteless joke, however, as Brian's clothes and belongings disappeared, she had to accept and understand the harsh reality of the situation in the note. Brian explained that he couldn't take the children with him because his new partner did not want any children other than her own, this left Olivia with the responsibility of caring for Liam and Michael, both 16, in her hands, while Brian promised financial assistance, that commitment never materialized, life had thrown Olivia into a challenging situation, demanding a strength she didn't know she possessed, Brian never reappeared in Olivia and her son's lives, when the divorce papers arrived. Bearing Brian's renouncement of parental rights over Liam and Michael, Olivia experienced a mix of relief and desolation. Holding the papers with trembling hands, she grappled with the profound question of how he could abandon them like this, the situation dealt a harsh blow to everyone in the family, Liam, the older one, attempted to appear strong, asking his mom, we're going to be okay, right, when he tried to conceal his own insecurities, Michael, still very young didn't fully comprehend what was happening but keenly felt the absence of his father, Olivia recognized the need to be strong for her sons. Contemplating what would become of them if something happened to her, determined to secure a safe future for Liam and Michael, she took on extra work and sought additional income opportunities, you deserve the best, she assured her sons, enrolling them in extracurricular activities, determined to provide them with opportunities she didn't have herself, striving to play both mother and father. Olivia worked tirelessly to fill the void left by Brian, aware of the exhaustion that came with this dual role, she couldn't let her sons lack anything, despite friends and relatives suggesting she find a new partner for happiness, Olivia hesitated, the idea of introducing a stranger into her children's lives scared her, how can I trust someone after everything that happened, she wondered, Olivia couldn't risk her children's happiness, reflecting on the situation, Olivia grappled with the question of trust. If the biological father could abandon them, how could she trust a stranger to care for her? Children, she refused to admit, even to herself, the depth of her own hurt, despite loving Brian deeply and being unprepared for such betrayal, Olivia had no time to confront her emotions, burdened by many worries, she buried her feelings deep, determined to cut ties with the past and focus solely on the future, working tirelessly to make it a reality. Navigating the challenges of raising two boys alone proved to be a daily, hourly, and minute-by-minute -minute struggle for Olivia, it was no easy task. As boys and girls seemed to hail from different planets, Olivia grappled with understanding, accepting help, and protecting Liam and Michael, even though success in these efforts wasn't always guaranteed, her hyper-concern and desire to compensate for their father's absence inadvertently led to the development of two rather selfish sons for Liam and Michael, their mother became a mere resource, and their favorite word was, want. The balance between giving and receiving was skewed, with Olivia. Constantly giving everything she had, while her sons only received and perpetually desired more, when they entered adolescence, dealing with them became even more challenging, respect for the mother figure practically vanished, and during arguments, they would often blame her for their father's departure, even if deep down, they didn't truly believe it, it was a convenient and effective form of manipulation. In moments of reflection, Olivia questioned herself, have I failed you, she wondered. Whether she had been firm enough or had spoken the right words at the right time, 
Despite her deep love for her sons and her fear of causing them more harm, Olivia realized that the situation had crystallized, and nothing more could be changed. What's grown has grown, she thought resignedly. From a young age, Liam and Michael took control of their personal lives, while emotions ran high and rationality was scarce. Olivia faced numerous challenges with them, when it came to facing the consequences. Of their actions, the brothers would run to their mother for help, despite their difficult behaviors and egocentrism, Olivia, with her motherly heart, could not deny help or set firm limits, always yielding to her sons. The revelation of a serious illness came as a shock to Liam and Michael, however, their concern was not solely for their mother, rather, it stemmed from the sudden need to assume responsibilities. As this twist of fate unfolded, many things became clear, neither Liam nor Michael was adequately prepared for the challenges they were about to face, the brothers engaged in discussions among themselves about what to do, keeping their plans hidden from Olivia when they navigated adulthood motivated neither by humanitarian nor moral principles, Liam and Michael convinced themselves they were justified and acted recklessly, initially, they inundated their ailing mother with sweet words and empty promises, maintaining a facade of care and concern, pressuring her persistently, they coerced Olivia into signing over all her assets, ostensibly to secure her well-being. Weakened by her illness, Olivia reluctantly acquiesced, as soon as they departed from the registry, the true nature of her beloved son's plan became evident, the house, money, and even the old car and garage were promptly divided between Liam and Michael rationalizing their actions, Liam asserted, why should we pay everything out of our own pocket, she paid taxes for so many years, Michael concurred. Blaming Olivia's deteriorated health on her past job without a hint of remorse in a rare moment of solitude, Olivia reflected on the situation, grappling with a mix of sadness and disappointment. How could I not see what was happening, she wondered, her intentions had always been to provide the best for Liam and Michael, however, her sons believed the responsibility for Olivia's care should now shift to the government, astonishingly, they managed to find justifications for their actions. Disregarding the years of care and support Olivia had provided, in a conversation between the brothers, Liam expressed the belief that Olivia had worked all her life, and now it was the government's turn to take care of her, the irony lay in the fact that, for many years, Olivia had cared for and supported her sons, but this seemed inconsequential to them, what mattered most was finding someone to blame. Regardless of the absurdity or illogicality of their arguments, it became easier for them to believe and attack the chosen scapegoat, never admitting fault of their own. In the end, Liam and Michael had made their decision, driven by a misguided sense of entitlement and a refusal to acknowledge their own shortcomings, blaming their mother for her own health decline and asserting that the state, to which she had dutifully paid taxes, should be responsible for her care, Liam and Michael acted without remorse, Olivia's assets were swiftly sold, the proceeds divided between the brothers and the ailing mother promptly dispatched to a nursing home catering to the elderly with special health needs, Olivia, weakened and in shock, felt a profound sense of powerlessness and uselessness as her sons callously left her at the medical institution, in a disturbing turn of events, Liam justified their actions, claiming it was for Olivia's own good, while Michael, with evident haste, added, here, you'll receive the care you need, regularly pondering whether she was to blame for the situation. Olivia analyzed her life during sleepless nights, grappling with questions about her perceived permissiveness or absence as a mother, these reflections left her with a shocking feeling of betrayal, while Olivia grappled with the emotional fallout of the betrayal, Liam and Michael remained indifferent to moral and ethical concerns, in a conversation, Liam expressed their rationale, why should we sacrifice our future and our best years for someone who isn't even going to get better, Michael agreed without a hint of remorse, over time, the brothers seemingly forgot about their mother's plight, feeling as if they no longer had a mother with Olivia in a nursing home and having not had a father for years, unfazed by any sense of responsibility, neither brother checked on Olivia's health, treatment, or mood, their own lives took precedence, and although they occasionally missed someone who had helped them in the past, the absence of their mother seemed inconsequential. Three years had passed since Olivia's diagnosis, and during that time, she had spent every moment. In the nursing home, robbed of the opportunity to live in her own apartment and stripped of all her possessions, during those three years, neither Liam or Michael visited or called their mother, 
they remained too preoccupied with their own lives and disinterested in reconnecting with her, Olivia, having already accepted the situation, saw no sense in attempting to initiate contact. Recognizing that her sons had moved on without looking back, as the door of the institution closed behind them. The emotional distance between the sons and their mother became starkly evident, Olivia, having endured abandonment and betrayal, had no desire for insincere apologies or uncomfortable truths, the lack of response became the clearest and most honest answer, there was nothing more to discuss or reflect upon, one morning, Liam received an unexpected call on his landline from an unknown female voice. Later identified as Riley, an assistant to a notary, Riley alluded to a secret will related to Olivia James but couldn't disclose further details due to confidentiality confused by the notion of a secret will from his mother, Liam, with his wife's last name, hesitated, expressing concern for his mother's health, Riley requested Olivia James' address, but Liam, unsure of the situation, decided to consult with his brother Michael before providing more information. After informing Michael about the conversation, they both agreed to gather more information and verify the details before. Taking any action, Michael, initially irritated at being woken up early, became equally perplexed upon hearing about the call, they decided to wait a few days and then attempt to contact a nurse from the nursing home where their mother resided, Liam had already informed the notary's assistant about Olivia's location, hoping she would diligently check nursing homes when the brothers waited. Liam grappled with the strange situation, questioning whether their mother had been hiding something from them, Michael, pondering the matter, agreed that they needed to uncover any potential secrets, after three days of anticipation and anxiety, they prepared to address the unfolding mystery surrounding Olivia's supposed secret will, Liam and Michael found themselves increasingly anxious as their mother, who had not been a prominent concern for them in a long while, suddenly became the focal point of their attention, Liam, growing impatient, sent messages to Michael seeking updates, but Michael's Responses remained evasive and uninformative, on the third day, Michael finally called Liam with urgent news, Liam, I've discovered something that could change everything, he said, a sense of urgency in his voice, Liam, feeling a mix of anticipation and apprehension, responded, what did you find, Michael, I'm on edge here. Michael explained that financial incentives could ease the opening of certain doors and revealed that the notary had already visited their mother at the nursing home, during the Conversation, Michael mentioned an almost forgotten story about their mother's brother, Lucas, who had immigrated to Europe and faced difficulties until he married a wealthy older woman, Liam, still trying to process the information, commented, so, Uncle Lucas passed away, and he left all his inheritance to our mother, Michael confirmed Liam's suspicions, shocking him, this is incredible, are you sure about that? It sounds like something out of a movie, Liam said, struggling to comprehend the Magnitude of the situation A bit irritated by his brother's disbelief, Michael insisted it was true, he recounted that a nurse named Lisa overheard the notary discussing the inheritance, which included several properties, houses, cars, and more, our mother could be the heir to a large fortune, Michael added, expressing a mix of surprise and skepticism, Liam, still in shock, reflected on the speed with which the notary acted, assuming their interest was fueled by the commission involved, we need to. Investigate this more thoroughly, Michael, if it's true, it changes everything, concluded Liam, already starting to imagine the possibilities, Liam and Michael decided to meet the next day to discuss the situation and strategize on how they could benefit from it, when they met at a local cafe, a place they had frequented since adolescence, seated discreetly, they began to devise a plan for their next steps, though neither wanted to admit it, both wondered if they should take some action, breaking. The silence, Michael asked, Liam, do you think mom would forgive us for all this, they pondered how they could correct the situation if it were possible, questioning the true extent of the inheritance and its potential impact on their relationship with their mother, Liam sighed when he looked at his brother, I don't know, Michael, mom has always been loving and forgiving, but she's also fair and honest, it's not easy to admit, but we've built a wall of excuses for our actions, Michael, with a distant look, admitted feeling bad but questioned the usefulness of dwelling on the past, why are we only now worrying about mom after three years of living with the decision to send her to the nursing home, Michael pondered, Liam, with a serious expression, responded, it's one thing to convince oneself internally, and it's a completely different story to face mom's reproachful look and hear her accusations, Michael, 
trying to maintain composure, suggested that if mom had wanted to accuse them, she would have called when she realized they had abandoned her. Frustrated, Liam questioned Michael's lack of awareness, prompting Michael to point out that Liam also participated and accepted his share of the money, while Michael admitted their actions weren't noble, he didn't feel completely guilty, now, Michael, what are we going to do, proceed as though nothing had occurred, Liam inquired, hoping for a response from his sibling. After a little period of silence, Michael said, we need to learn more about this inheritance, perhaps that will present us with a chance to act differently. Michael and Liam talked about how they would respond to their mother's assessment of their actions, at least we will have tried if we apologize and she doesn't understand, Liam said, trying to find some optimism in the circumstance, Michael agreed to confront Olivia the following day, ready to pay her a visit, even though he was concerned about her response, after three years apart. The brothers realized how important it was to arrive with gifts, so they purchased multiple items, though they were aware of Olivia's unpredictable response, they thought through a number of potential outcomes when they got to the assisted living facility, a nurse showed them where Olivia was reading quietly, Olivia shut the book upon noticing them and pleaded, please wait a moment, I'm going to complete this section, surprisingly composed, Liam and Michael sat quietly as Olivia drew near, what brings you here after so long? She asked them, giving them a stern look, Michael spoke up before Liam could continue, saying, Mom, it wasn't easy to decide to come, we had our concerns regarding you, with her look unchanged, Olivia asked, and why did you disappear for so long, despite the tension, the talk started to flow more easily, Liam attempted, but was unable, to gently bring up the topic of the inheritance by posing oblique inquiries, Michael talked on how unexpected news might catch us off guard sometimes in life, but Olivia just listened in silence, nodding on occasion, Liam chastised Michael, for being overly blunt when she briefly moved aside, we have to be more cautious, brother, he replied, Olivia came back, and the brothers stopped hinting at each other, the talk flowed more smoothly, in the assisted living facility's common living area, they were watching a television show when Michael saw an opening to question his mother about his brother Lucas, Michael approached Liam directly, which annoyed Liam, and he looked at him reproachfully, Olivia retorted that it had been a while, since she had spoken with Lucas, Michael felt bad about being so impetuous, but as usual, he did not hold himself accountable. Olivia was obviously unwilling to give in and was adamantly defending her secret. Michael was aware that his mother hated lying and would sooner be silent than tell lies. The brothers bid their goodbyes and continued talking with Olivia after a while. The brothers attempted to sidestep her sardonic remark by making a joke. Liam challenged Michael about his direct approach. As soon as they departed, we need to be more subtle if we want to find out anything, he stated, Michael clarified that in order to win back their mother's trust, they had to tear down the wall of mistrust between them, Liam acknowledged this but said he wasn't sure how to make it happen, Liam was looking forward to Michael's call the following day, he had some ideas, Liam revealed that he had spent the night attempting to comprehend their mother's viewpoint when they eventually got together, Michael, it is not simple, we must work toward making amends with her, he remarked, taking stock of the circumstances, Michael answered, appearing a little defensive, Liam, I'm not a monster, I'm also attempting to make sense of everything, Michael and Liam talked about how to handle their mother's inheritance issue, with Liam saying, I think we should be honest and admit our mistakes, but Michael was reluctant to admit that they were aware of the bequest, Liam, I'm not sure, that might make us susceptible, he answered, considering the possible repercussions, they both felt that they had to find a method to win over Olivia's mistrust, what if we ask mom directly what she wants and admit we were wrong, Liam then said, Michael disapproved of Liam's no-nonsense style, maybe we should show that we truly regret it, but without directly touching on the inheritance issue, he was thinking, Liam maintained that regaining Olivia's trust required being honest, if we are sincere, maybe she'll see that. We've changed, he said. It occurred to the brothers that Olivia might request to go back home and take back her apartment, Liam thought, that would be a true test of our sincerity, Michael thoughtfully voiced his worries regarding their mother's housing expenses, it's going to be very expensive for us, he stated honestly, but Liam thought it was an investment that had to be made, he made an attempt to persuade Michael that, the benefits of rebuilding our relationship with mom outweigh any cost. Following additional deliberations, Michael reluctantly accepted Liam's proposal, 
being the older brother and having convinced Michael brought Liam a sense of inner joy that was uncommon in their relationship, Liam and Michael made the decision to go see their mother one more in three days with the goal of expressing regret and suggesting a reunion. Olivia was somewhat more accommodating during the second visit. The brothers took a cautious approach to the subject, not bringing up the inheritance right away, when Liam sat on a park bench thinking back on their mother's visit, he shared his worries and misgivings regarding the circumstances, what if everything goes wrong, Michael, what happens if mom rejects our sincere regrets, in an attempt to be as comforting as he could, Michael said, Liam, we're in the same boat, we both stand to lose if we don't succeed, but we must carry out the plan, it's the soul path, even with his doubts, Liam realized how much was on the line, okay, Michael, let's get her the place, although there is a danger, it might be required, the brothers noticed Olivia was still hurting but was keeping her emotionally apart during their talk, Liam made the decision to bring up Olivia's sickness, something he had refrained from doing before, Mom, how do you really feel, on the following appointment, Olivia replied candidly about her stable health. Michael then started to apologize and discuss the error they had made, Mom, we acknowledge our error, we fear losing you as much as we feared losing our father when we were little, he said, Olivia, paying close attention, answered that she wished to go back home in order to mend the relationship, Liam promptly concurred, and without delving more into the bequest, the conversation turned to other subjects, the brothers resumed their conversation on the park bench following the visit, listen, Liam, were stuck with mom's terms, Michael was resolute in his decision to help pay for her new apartment, Michael assuaged Liam's concerns, brother, we're going through this together, we will both be equally impacted by any setback, it is imperative that we proceed with this, the stakes were high, but Liam still decided to buy the flat, despite his reservations, because he knew what was at stake, it's alright, Michael, we should do it for mom, he remarked, Olivia wanted to know who owned the condominium that Liam and Michael were going to purchase for her, so she asked during their talk, despite Liam's best efforts, Olivia was adamant that the answer had to be in her name, my name must be on the deed of the apartment, she stated with conviction that it was an issue of security for her, the brothers thought that was a reasonable request, so they consented, the proceeds from the sale of Olivia's vehicle and garage were also returned to her, my garage and automobile were sold to you, Olivia was really insistent about getting her money back, Michael and Liam reluctantly accepted Olivia's conditions since they knew it was their only chance to win back her trust and inherit her money, all right, mom, we'll get it done, Michael muttered despairingly, Olivia was quite picky about the apartment she chose, she rejected multiple offers and insisted on a high quality finish, I desire an item that is as cozy as the one I had previously, she stated, it was a draining and expensive ordeal for the brothers to locate and renovate the apartment, in addition, Olivia insisted on receiving one million pesos back, the amount she believed she had lost from selling her car and garage. Liam told his mother, that's a lot of money, in response to the unexpectedly high demand, Liam and Michael reached out to one other for comfort following yet another tense session with Olivia, she's acting quite craftily, Liam, the apartment was a problem, and now the money is the next, Michael said with concern, upon learning that Olivia was attempting to regain all she had lost, Liam readily agreed, Michael, we must do it, Liam realized he had to go through with the plan if he wanted to win back. Mom's trust and get his hands on the money, Liam phoned Michael the following day to see whether he had gotten a message from Olivia as well, Michael, she's preparing to test us, being able to confide in someone else has been a tremendous relief for Liam as he expressed his misery, the brothers decided to purchase a modest present for Olivia because they had already spent a considerable amount of money for her requests, let's bring something simple, on the day of Olivia's apartment celebration. Michael had a meaningful suggestion, both he and Liam were excited, anticipating Olivia's disclosure of the long-awaited inheritance laden with gifts and snacks for tea, they sensed Olivia's good mood as an encouraging sign, engaged in conversation around the table, Olivia initially discussed her relatives, including her brother Lucas, Liam and Michael, eager for the anticipated revelation, paid scant attention when Olivia began narrating Lucas's story, Liam physically reacted upon hearing his brother's name, swiftly concealing it to avoid Olivia's notice remember Uncle Lucas who went to the United States, Olivia queried, commencing the story, Liam and Michael feigned remembrance, and Olivia proceeded, Lucas, an immigrant, 
faced a challenging life until fortune smiled upon him when he married a wealthy older woman, however. The unexpected twist emerged when Olivia revealed that Lucas eventually lost his entire inheritance due to ill-fated investments, in the end, he passed away alone. And in misery, leaving no legacy, surprised by this revelation, Liam and Michael exchanged glances, Olivia nodded and disclosed, Uncle Lucas became rich, intrigued, Michael asked about the authenticity of the story, to which Olivia confirmed with an ironic smile, she then unveiled the shocking truth that the entire inheritance tale was a meticulously planned act, confused. Michael inquired about the purpose of the deception, Olivia explained that the story, including the fabricated notaries. Assistant, was a test, she wanted to gauge whether her sons cared for her beyond the allure of inheritance, Liam and Michael sat speechless, realizing they had fallen victim to their own greed and neglect, Olivia, with a penetrating gaze, expressed her disappointment in her sons, she revealed that she had already rewritten her will, excluding them both, Liam and Michael, devastated by this revelation. Witnessed Michael abruptly standing up from the table and leaving without uttering a word, Liam. Attempted to halt Michael's departure, but Michael, his voice trembling, replied, there's nothing more to do here, Liam, for the first time, Liam followed his brother without resistance, acknowledging Michael's correctness, in silence, they walked, each immersed in their own thoughts, contemplating the repercussions of their actions, observing her son's departure, Olivia once again surveyed her apartment, a slight smile playing on her lips, she felt a sense of relief, believing she had left all, Troubles behind and imparted a valuable life lesson to her sons, sometimes, a mother's love needs to be tough when Liam and Michael traversed the streets, a palpable silence enveloped them, Liam broke it, questioning Michael, what are we going to do now, his voice carried uncertainty, Michael halted, gazing at Liam, and asserted, we have to start fixing things, brother, we need to show mom we've learned the lesson, determined to change, the brothers, now cognizant of their mistakes, knew they, Faced a lengthy journey to rebuild their mother's trust and love, they committed to whatever it took to mend their errors and reconnect with Olivia, not for the inheritance but for the genuine love of a mother. The journey home was lengthy and contemplative, for the first time in a while, Liam and Michael engaged in sincere conversations about their lives, mistakes, and true values, they realized that, in their pursuit of wealth and success, they had lost sight of what truly mattered, family. Love, and honesty, upon arriving home, the brothers sat together, planning how to demonstrate their remorse and love, they decided to start with small actions, like regular visits and selfless assistance, without expecting anything in return. Over time, Olivia noticed the change in her sons, initially skeptical, she gradually opened up to the possibility that they had indeed learned from their mistakes. Sunday lunches became a tradition, filled with laughter and sincere conversations, Liam and Michael, through their actions and dedication, finally managed to rebuild the bridge they had destroyed with their mother. Witnessing the genuine change, Olivia disclosed that her will was another test, one last verification of their transformation. On a sunny afternoon, while sharing a meal in Olivia's new apartment, the family embraced the beginning of a renewed and authentic connection. She handed them copies of her updated will, now including them once again, with tears in her eyes, Olivia declared, I don't need a will to know that I now have my son's back, overwhelmed with emotion, Liam and Michael embraced their mother, pledging to be the sons she always deserved, in that poignant moment, they realized that the true inheritance Olivia had bequeathed to them was unconditional love and life lessons that would endure indefinitely, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.